Hey everyone, Coach Steve here. Today's video was inspired by a question given to us by one of our Patreon subscribers, Ayub Amaiwa. Thanks Ayub for being the inspiration behind today's lesson. In many of our teachings, we encourage true edge to false edge combinations as an efficient way of moving a longsword. But there are also true edge to true edge movements. And while these movements may seem slower, there are ways to do them efficiently in practical situations. Performing false edge motions after true edge motions while wearing gear can be particularly restrictive, making some movements difficult, if not impossible, especially if you're wearing certain kinds of heavy gloves or perhaps borrowed gear. Understanding how to use true edge to true edge devices can be a huge advantage in your sparring training. The first example of a true edge true edge device that we're going to examine is the basic ox defense to counterattack. As the strike comes in, I defend with my crossed ox position, I step out to the right, I shed my guard, and I strike with the true edge as well. The reason I do it in this fashion and not with the false edge off of the defense is if I use my false edge, my sword sails right past the target and misses completely. Hey YouTube, if you like what you see, smash that like button, ring that bell, and if you wanted more information on our club or if you want to join our free Discord server, check out the links below. The next device we're going to examine is the bar off a thrust. As the thrust comes in, I bar my opponent's blade in a thumb grip position. Under ideal situations, I have the shield available, I have this work available. But certain types of heavy gloves make it difficult for me to transition to my thumb grip position, so I have to maintain my handshake grip, meaning now I have true edge cuts available to me. Only, my sword's not going to travel all the way around my head. Instead, it's going to perform a ribbon rotation as I step in and perform a descending cut from my left side. Lastly, we'll examine a basic combination. Normally, a true edge false edge combination looks something like this. However, if you're restricted by unfamiliar equipment, this can be difficult because of an inability to transition between grips. A good alternative is after you perform your first cut as a descending cut, you immediately move to an ascending cut on the same side. This way I can maintain a handshake grip and still attack my opponent effectively. True edge to true edge combinations have their place in HEMA. It all depends on the circumstances of the exchange. How close you are to your opponent, which side you're defending from, which side you're attacking from. The key is choosing the most efficient way to move the sword to strike your opponent. Thanks for tuning in to today's lesson, and a big thanks to Ayub for being the inspiration behind today's video. Big thanks to our Patreon supporters. We couldn't do this without you. And as I always like to say, if you train how you fight, then you'll fight how you train. How do you tell which is the false edge and which is the true edge? You are incredibly handsome and God's gift to women. You're not engaging your damn core and your fly has been down the whole time. Yeah.